Now, <clears throat> when we talk about OS fingerprinting, remember that this is a way that you could use Nmap to essentially determine what services are available, uh, what ports. So, for example, a hacker could figure out uh, if there is HTTP running, DNS, etc. The application name and version, as well as typically the OS and the version, uh, the host name, of course, as well as the device type, uh, if uh, uh, if uh, that can be given up by the uh, device itself. So again, um, uh, just for those that are not aware, Nmap also does typically come with the database, of course, as, as you're likely aware. But if you're not aware, just I just want to make you aware that Nmap has a database of application and versions um, that contain the signature. So basically the way Nmap is able to correlate a Windows, uh, you know, Windows 10 or a uh, Cisco switch or, or I mean, not a Cisco switch in this case, but um, let's say a, a Dell server or an HP server running Oracle, for example, it can it can pick up a lot of that because a lot of that information is kept in the database. And that's called the uh, CPE, which is known as the Common Platform Enumeration. So basically, if it can't match something um, like a host or a host application, to its database, then it'll come back essentially as unmatched. So just be aware of that. You probably don't need to know for the test. I didn't say anything on that, but just be aware of that. And so you could use these commands dash SV or dash A to perform OS fingerprinting. And then there's also a scripting engine. Now, a scripting engine could be very useful to a hacker. So Nmap has capability called the uh, NSE, which is called the Nmap Scripting Engine. Now these scripts, they're usually uh, written in a uh, scripting language. Uh, it's, uh, I believe it's called the L or Lua language. And again, um, you would just basically use the dash, uh, dash script argument. And as you see over here, it's got the dash dash script and you basically can um, correlate that to whatever IP address you want to search or range. And when you do that, it could basically uh, probe and of course uh, use the scripts to include whatever information you want to try to pull. So for example, you could uh, uh, pull from Windows, like account discovery, Windows usernames, uh, if there's any vulnerabilities. Uh, for example, have they installed like service packs that are required, for example. Also, too, uh, it could also use geolocation as well, um, if that's available. So much capability in Nmap. Once again, I can't reiterate this enough. If you don't know much about Nmap, uh, it would be worth your time to take a course uh, just because, uh, again, you'll likely see a few questions on the test about Nmap. So again, this will likely be the most tested application on, on the exam. Uh, but again, if you don't know, know it and you can remember, you know, if you know everything else, pretty much you'll be fine. It's just... Uh, it's a big, uh, you know, big area in my opinion. Okay. So we talked about the environmental and network reconnaissance techniques that may be used to test the systems. Talked about social engineering. And we talked about host discovery, OS fingerprinting tools. So let's go over to some exam tips. So one of the things you want to know is know the correct flow of the kill chain. Remember, planning, reconnaissance, weaponization, and exploit, lateral discovery, data exfiltration, and then retreat. You do want to know this for the test. Uh, again, there is that white paper uh, that uh, 
that is at uh, the the first available download for which is I believe in the first module of uh, this uh, section. So again, it's the Lockheed Martin paper goes through the kill chain. You, you really have to read it to, to understand what it is. Number two, Nmap. Now Nmap, you wanna use the dash A function to perform what is called service detection. Now on the exam, you will see a few questions that will ask you what are the syntaxes for Nmap to do a particular function. Now, also too, uh, you will uh, get some similar, like I guess you, I would call them almost like a case study question that will ask you, you know, based on what you're reading, what kind of, you know, tool would you use and what would be the syntax? So you need to know the difference between like Nmap and Emmet. You know, again, they're very different tools, but if you don't know the difference, you're probably not going to select the right answer on the test. So uh, again, be aware of Nmap. Get to know it. And then uh, know the, the tools for passive social recon. Some of those ways would be web searches, Google hacking, email ha harvesting, social media, DNS, etc., and also website ripping. So that's the end of the module. Let's continue on.